بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم اینڈ گڈ مارننگ ڈیئر اسٹوڈنٹس آئی ہوپ یو آل آر ویل اینڈ فائن آئی ہوپ یو آر سیف ایٹ ہوم آئی ہوپ یو آر سیف اینڈ ساؤنڈ یو آر ہیلدی آئی وامی ویلکم یو بیک ٹو دا کلاس آف سوشل اسٹڈیز ان دس کلاس وی آر گوئنگ ٹو ری لرن سم آف دا تھنگس بیکاز دس از یور ری انفورسمنٹ کلاس آف سوشل اسٹڈیز لیٹ سی وٹ چیپٹر وی آر گوئنگ ٹو لرن اور وٹ چیپٹر وی آر گوئنگ ٹو ری لرن سو لیٹس گیٹ اسٹارٹیڈ The chapter which we are going to review this week is Reduce, Reuse and Recycle. This was our one of the chapter and we are going to have review of this chapter Reduce, Reuse and Recycle. These three terms are denoted by three R's together and on the right side of the screen you can observe the three arrows number one, two and three and these three arrows are indica indicating reduce reuse and recycle reduce reuse and recycle are basically terminologies which which are relevant to each other but still there is the difference between them we are going to relearn the important things from this chapter so let's get started before that let's have a review of some of the things which we already know and that these are as the world population increases our domestic waste also increases vastly our waste mostly consists of paper rags metal glass bottles plastic containers and all the other countless rubbish that we put into our dustbins every day if these waste are not disposed of properly they become pollutant what do they become they become pollutant and pollutant are, pollutants are the thing which make which makes our environment dirty and causes the pollution so if we do not dispose these kind of things or rubbish properly so they become the pollutant and pollution is the biggest threat to our environment let's have a review of pollution because these three terminologies reduce reuse and recycle are the terminologies which are which we are using to reduce the pollution so let's have a review of pollution environment is the surrounding in which we live but the contamination of our environment by pollutants is called environment environmental pollution water gets contaminated easily with any pollutant whether it is human waste or chemical discharge from factories also we use this water for irrigation of crops okay we use this water for irrigation of crops irrigation of crops uh, basically irrigation is the word that is indicating the system of providing water to the crops so if also we are using this uh, contaminated water for irrigation of crops and drinking as well so of course this is going to be this is going to harm our crops and and living individuals too but because of the infection they become contaminated too besides an animal dies because they drink the, uh, the same contaminated water pollution has become one of the most concerning issues for our planet and mankind it takes place when pollutants contaminate our environment and in other words pollution is responsible for disturbing the balance of ecosystem ecosystem is the word which we are using for the environment in which both the factors are there biotic factors and abiotic factors it means in an environment living thing plus non living things are there okay they both interact with each other here in the background you can easily observe that how the natural environment can be destroyed by pollution due to which three r's are introduced and these are reduce reuse and recycle and this is our chapter number 4 and it is on page number 10 of your social studies book now we are going to review these three terminologies one by one we are going to see that uh, what do they mean and what are the differences between these three r's so let's get started with reduce so dear kids let's start with the first segment of this chapter that is reduce 
reduce we cannot see we cannot stop producing uh, producing the waste okay but everyone can make a significant contribution to the environment so think before you bend it saves energy and natural resources it helps to reduce the pollution and reduce the need for landfill the three r's indicates reduce reuse and recycle okay from which number one is reduce so reducing or reduction this means try to reduce the amount of waste you produce as this is the best way to help the environment if you cannot avoid the way uh, avoid producing the waste try to uh, try to minimize the quantity of your waste so simply reduce means making less trash reduce means making less trash and reduction means consuming and throwing away less okay simply what you have to do you uh, just dispose of your garbage properly okay try uh, try to throw your garbage into the proper bins or dust bins or garbage bins okay and reduce it you can reduce the pollution you can reduce the uh, amount of waste okay A question arises here that how can we reduce the amount of waste we produce okay so here are some of the examples from which number one is a lot of paper thrown by us into our dustbins if used carefully can reduce our waste greatly and the use of paper bags instead of plastic shoppers can help us to reduce the pollution so what do you have to do say no to plastic bottles or shoppers okay try to use the minimum quantity or amount of plastic because this is the major pollutant it does not dissolve properly okay so that is why it creates pollution it enhances the pollution so best example to reduce the pollution is try to avoid the things which are made of plastic okay instead we can we can use the paper bags and uh, glass bottles fine so this can help us to reduce the pollution now here comes another term from this chapter the second r and that is reuse dear students if you see this word this word is indicating its whole definition how because re means again and use means to use something okay re means again and use means to use something so reuse is the word which is indicating to to use the things again and again so what is the definition using things over and over again using things over and over again reusing materials also reduces the waste fine the materials which have a long life can be used again after their original use is finished for example if we have a jar of tank okay after the consumption of the tank the amount of tank from uh, that jar we can reuse that jar for keeping spices so because glass jar has the long life so uh, the materials which have a long life can be used again after their original use their original use is finished okay so we can use it for other purposes if possible so what is it indicating it is indicating that we are reusing things using things over and over again kids here comes the last r from 3 r's that is probably the best known r that is recycle recycling is the most often advertised of 3 r so it's likely you have heard it before recycling is changing old products into new ones so they can be resold for example when you set uh, when you set out bottles and cans to be recycled they are taken to the plant where they can be reprocessed into many new things they may be changed into new bottles or cans or they could be changed into things like bicycles and other things so according to our book we have a simplest definition here and that is making new materials from waste or old materials is called recycling re again cycling 
to revising something so what we are going to do we are going to revise old materials but those old materials would be turned into new materials and new products recycling is the process of collecting and processing materials that would otherwise be thrown away as a trash and turning them into new products recycling can benefit your community and environment as it provides job to many people it reduces it uh, it, uh, it saves our natural resources okay here are some of the examples here are some of the examples of materials which are in which are commonly recycled and these are glass paper plastic and metal sure enjoyed lunch today, but look at this mess! We need to clean up. Let's find the trash bin. Wait a minute. There are two different trash bins. And one of them has a picture on it. What do you think it means? I don't know. I'm so confused. <laughs> oh, don't worry. It's really quite simple. This is called the recycling symbol. Recycling? What does that mean, Mr. Sammy? Recycling is when we take old trash and make it into something new. Hmm. Can we recycle bananas? No, some trash can't be recycled. These things go into the trash bin. But we can recycle a glass bottle, an aluminum can, a plastic bag, and a magazine. These things go into the recycling bin. And then what happens? The recycling bins go to a special place called the recycling plant. That's where the magic happens. Bottles, cans, plastic, and paper are chopped into tiny bits. Then they are melted or turned into mush. Now they can be used to make new things. That's recycling. Wow, that's amazing. Well, how can we recycle? You can start by putting all of the recyclable trash into the correct bin. Remember, only glass, metal, plastic, and paper can be recycled. I think we need some help. Can you help us sort the trash? <laughs> Great! Let's clean up! Where should we put this plastic water bottle? In the trash bin or the recycling bin. You're right! Let's toss it in the recycling bin. Hmm, what about this apple core? Can we recycle it? <laughs> no. Food goes to the trash bin. Do you know where this soda can goes? Yes, we can recycle metal cans. Let's keep going. We have an eggshell, an empty glass bottle, an old magazine, a plastic bag, and a metal can. Can you help us sort them? We will give you some time to think. But if you need more time, you can pause the video and answer when you are ready. know that we can recycle glass, metal, plastic, and paper. That's why these things should go into the recycling bin. Can we recycle food? No. The eggshell goes to the trash bin. Now here comes these three terms in front of you. 
uh, and these are reduce, reuse, and recycle. So three R's are basically indicating these three these three terms, and these are reduce, reuse, and recycle. Okay, if we talk about reduce, reduce means reduction of the trash, reuse means using things over and over again, recycle means uh, producing the new products from old materials. So here are the definitions, we can read them out here. Reduce simply means living more carefully so that you have, you have less rubbish to get rid of, avoiding waste is the preferable option for waste management. If we talk about reduce, reduce, uh, sorry, reuse, reuse means to use the same item more than once, preferably many times rather than, rather than disposing of it after one use. The third and the last and the best are indicates recycle and that is recycle means to process used materials into new products to save the natural resources and energy. In the second paragraph of these definitions, you can observe the examples of each so far we have learned about reduce reuse and recycle we have compared them as well okay so these all are uh, actually three r's are introduced only to protect the environment from pollution hello i am the earth Yep, the very planet you live on. They are three words which start with the letter R, which I love. They are reduce, reuse, and recycle. Do you know why I love them so much? Because they are almost magical words. They can make all living things, as well as myself, be happier. I said that they are almost magical, because without your help, it won't work. They need all of you children in order to do the trick. Each and every one of you are the real three R's magicians. Those three words which can change the world. Do you want to know how? Yes? Well, let's find out. The first R is for reduce. If you think about it, there are many things you don't need. When you go to the supermarket, I'm sure you can take your own canvas bags instead of using disposable ones given to you. Like that, you will be reducing the amount of plastic, which is very contaminating. And I'm sure that you don't need to print out so many documents or photos, nor leave lights, television or computers on when you're not using them. If you remember this, you'll be reducing the amount of paper being used as well as energy and in turn will be helping to reduce the contamination. And these are just a few examples. I am sure you can think of many more different ways to reduce what you are using or creating unnecessary waste. The following question will help you with this task. Do I really need this or is this just a whim? The second R is for recycling. Now, it is easier than ever to recycle things we don't need anymore so that they can be reused. Near your home, you can find places like the recycling station and containers for cans, plastic, paper or organic waste. They each have specific colors to make it easier to identify. By using them, you will avoid contaminating nature the rivers and seas, as well as the atmosphere, which is the air we breathe. And finally, we have the third R, which refers to reuse. How many things do you think we can reuse again and again instead of throwing them away? Let's see. A piece of paper that has only one side printed on, a carton box, a plastic bottle, you think now, with just a little bit of imagination, I'm sure you can come up with many more exciting and fun new uses for them. And remember, if you apply the three R's rule, you will make me a much cleaner planet, with less contamination and where we can all enjoy a better life. Because, as you know, children can make a world of difference.
here we are going to wind up our today's lecture of 3 hours in which we have learned about how can we reduce the pollution how can we reduce the trash how can we reuse the things again and again after its original use then we have learned about recycle that is the best r and that turns the old material in materials into new one and the things which are really common to be recycled these are plastic metal paper and glass so thank you so much inshallah we shall meet in the next class with some new information or might be a new reinforcement class this is going to be so thank you so much take care of yourself allah hafiz